All right, I wanna make your life a little easier. This is a garden pot mover with the adjustable handle. It's sale price right now at 59 bucks. That's gonna save you a little bit. You know, $6 is $6, but my gosh, when gasoline's five bucks a gallon, every penny I can save right now, I wanna do. This is going to be able to manage a pot as small as eight inches in height, all the way up to something that's gonna be over 30 inches in height. And the design is really smart. It has this swivel handle, and when you squeeze the trigger, it releases it. So all you have to do is to tip a pot a little bit forward to slide this big stainless steel tong underneath it. The suction cups are gonna go ahead and help to grab the, the edge of it, and then you slide this handle over the, the lip, and that locks it into place. Now I've got a fulcrum that's gonna be able to move a pot all the way up to 165 pounds. Now think about that. How have you been moving the big pots that you've got on your back deck of your patio? Are you just kind of trying to swivel them back and forth? Oh, heaven forbid, hopefully you're not bending over and picking them up. It's a much smarter way. Susan Butterworth was our first guest of the show. She's the one who brought us out great way of being able to trim edges. She also brings us this. Welcome back. Hi, Dano. How are you? I'm, I'm Dan good. I'm good. Oh. Fantastic. I know you and I don't have the best backs in the world, and I know my back can go out so easily. I'm moving a pot that weighs over 90 pounds right now on this amazing pot mover. So it's just super easy. You just lift it and roll it. You can move things inside the house or outside, and it's just so easy. You've got this place to put your foot, and you just push it back, and then you're ready to go. But I'll show you over here, Dan, another, another pot I've got. This same thing, I've got another. This is about a 65-pound pot. You know, we want to move them sometimes. We want to put maybe them in different kinds of sun, maybe a little shade. Maybe we don't want to mark the deck. But look how easy it is. And what it is is when I go to put it down, you'll see that I have this attachment right here. And this is what digs into the pot, and it's either as low as an 8-inch pot or as high as a 30-inch pot, and it can hold up to 165 pounds. So you're free to move things around your yard, outside, or even inside, because these wheels never go flat, and they never mar any indoor surfaces. Susan, I'll tell you, this, this will give you every indication of what you need to know about my staff because I consider this to be brilliant thinking. Brilliant thinking. My technical director took one look at this and went, that'd be really easy to move a keg of beer. <laughs> ah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's hefty for you. Good thinking, buddy. Always thinking outside the box. Uh, there right. is We're some minor assembly. So I wanna, I wanna put the videotape on how to assemble it. It's not difficult. All the tools that you need are readily at hand. Uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. And then you get a little wrench that does come with it. So I'd, I'd say 10 minutes and you're up and going and the wrench is there. There you go. There's your Allen wrench. But it's very well built. It's a substantial piece. Those tires don't require any air at all. They are always run design. And the whole thing is actually pretty lightweight. It weighs a little over you know what, it, yeah, eight pounds is all it weighs yes. in. But it'll hold a hundred, a hundred and sixty-five pound potted plant is a big potted plant. That's right. You know what? I like to do this too. I've got an empty tin uh, container that I have that I love to put firewood in that we take out to where we have our fire pit. And I just love it. So you're not just limited to a, a big pot or, you know, a big giant plant. You can put other things on here and move it all around. And what you're doing is you're really saving your back, your hips, and your knees from getting that, oh, uh, feeling. But you're able to have the freedom to move things. And Hefty with that peg, yeah. you know, Hefty, you could put a lot of ice in here, too, and just put a lot of cans or bottles in here, too. Well, yeah, yeah, and then go around and Now move we're it. just labeling no. the poor guy. Yeah, correctly, I know. correctly labeled. Yeah. <laughs> but, Yeah. <laughs> Smart design. I've used it for trash cans. You know, not everybody oh, has sure. not everybody has the rectangular trash cans on wheels that your municipalities give. I've still got the regular round tin trash cans, 
and I got I've got to take them down my country lane to get them to where the the trash pickup is. This is a smart idea. You know, it is so super smart. It's so lightweight. You can move pots that are as I just crashed into my wall. Sorry, I noticed that <laughs> as low as eight inches or as high as thirty inches, and you can move up to a hundred and sixty-five pounds worth. You know, it's like a pull cart in golf. That's what it's really based after. Okay. But it's so remarkable because once you lift it and it's got a place for your foot to put it down, and then it's also got your, you know, that place for your foot to go to help pick it up. But I'm doing it one-handed. This weighs over 90 pounds. And I'm able to, you know, rearrange my pots, decorate maybe a little bit. And nobody's hurting their back, their knees, or, you know, their their hips in, in the process. Yeah, you and I both have bad backs. It's just not worth the yep. risk. You know, it's no, 20, not 20 at all. bucks a month mm -hmm. for three months. And it's it's there right away. You'll have it in time to put out your spring, spring containers. Susan, thank you. Always nice oh, to Dana. see you. Thanks, Dan, so much. Appreciate it. Great little item. I